Hey everybody, welcome to another sketchbook flip through. This one just happens to be from 2009 to 2011, which is 10 years ago, which is kind of crazy if you ask me. I seems like five minutes ago, but anyway, this sketchbook is um, not as much like a sketch journaling sketchbook, but just random ideas and weird stuff. So the first one we have here, um, I actually turned into a painting called Moth Mellows. One of my favorite, I don't, I'm not sure why, but it's glued in here. Sometimes if I sketch something that I really think is cool and I don't want to lose it, I'll just, you know, tape it in. Let's see, just some little random sketches from around the house. This one is, of course, me and my husband. We always laughed because we would brush our teeth at the same time and put our hands in our pockets every time. I think we still do that. Um, these are just some weird things I was drawing. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, <laughs> this is a couple friends of mine. I can recognize their little faces there. And I was obviously having some back pain at the time. I love uh, these two guys. This is a woolly bear caterpillar and a cicada shell. So, I don't know. They're just kind of like cute little things that are nostalgic to me. So, I obviously just sketch them for the heck of it. I would like to make that into a painting sometime. So, we'll see. We might still do that. Just some weird apples and grapes with feet. I don't, I don't know. No idea. Oh, this one I kind of made for a mural that I was supposed to do, but it ended up not happening. It's of Jesus and the little children. I, I actually did end up doing this, but not where it was originally supposed to be done. It was for my church, but I ended up doing it in the Dominican Republic instead on the side of a church. <laughs> this was at one of the very first craft shows I ever did, and it was freezing outside so there's my tribute to the freezing cold me inside of an ice cube who knows what I was thinking oh here's some lyrics from Owl City because my dreams are bursting at the seams and it's just me sleeping in the little dream cloud over the top I think I was thinking about doing a Christmas card or something so I was trying to draw some angels. Apparently this is a doodle of some sort, no idea. Here's a tree. It kind of looks like one of my tree paintings that I ended up doing and, but it doesn't have a head. Interesting. This one says, caution, false intentions ahead. I am not sure what I was thinking about at that time. Let's see. Ugh, Neko loves the stinky weed. To this day, goes outside randomly and rolls in something that smells really bad and I don't actually think it's a weed I think I think we figured out that it is bird poop disgusting I know mm, coffee versus tea which one do you prefer <laughs> gingerbread cookies trying to murder a cupcake really not sure I'm sorry if you can hear in the background Lori decided to eat her lunch at the same time as me recording this always <laughs> I have no idea what this is. It's just like me or a girl in front of a bunch of swirly clouds. Here's me thinking about stuff. It's probably representing the crazy creativity in my brain or who knows. Blank page. This one became a painting, one of my paintings called Carved. Only in the end, I think I made this into an owl and there was a bunch of carved hearts all over this tree. Um, Pac-Man ghost and an owl. A uh, random doodle. This is, a, this is supposed to be my son Dustin and they used to have this, him and his friends had, just would say, that's funny, like that. So I drew that. Um, some sort of a crab <laughs> with a mustache. This was remember what I was thinking about this too it wasn't I remember it was not about my husband or anything like that but it was just like uh, 
a problem I had communicating with someone, and this is how I felt, trying to crack through the, the bubble. And here's another picture of that person just chilling out inside of that bubble, totally content. I remember I was trying to come up with an idea for an art show that was being held in, at the Butler Art Center, and it was called... I forget what it was called. It was something about jazz, though. So this was the, the first one I came up with. And then I ended up doing this one, which is was turned into a painting. One of my paintings called It Just Comes Naturally. This was for a commission for someone I know that had a baby that passed. So it was... They requested a picture of them inside of a frame on a tree, and then I did a couple different ideas. Like, here's one of her in the clouds. I don't know what happened here. And this has ended up being the result. Only, oops, here's the actual result. She has wings, and yeah, I painted that for them. It was, it was nice. This one became a painting called Doubts They Get the Best of Me. And it's just like the little girl being scared in her room. And these guys represent your, you know, feeling down about yourself or not having confidence. Here's a couple things. I pasted these in, apparently. I probably drew them at church or something. I, I used to do to what church all the time because it kind of kept my brain you know the one side of my brain occupied so I could listen it really does work um this was for a, a t-shirt design that I was commissioned to do this was planning for a CD cover that I did for Nathan Steitler called deathbed flower bed just some little thumbnails um, this now we're getting into the other album cover I did for a band called Don't Wake Azelin. Now they're called Viridia. Well, it's not the same band, but it has a couple of the same members. Um, I'll post a link to that. But yeah, she had, the singer had a whole story that she wanted me to do. So here's, we'll see a bunch of those in here coming up. Just some notes from it. But of course it skips around and here's a little, <laughs> another commission I did for someone just planning that out. Random doodles, random doodle, thir Furby, more doodles. I have no idea what this is. Some more doodles, a weird Furby morph guy. This became a painting as well, this one right here, called Beautiful Disaster. It's I used to have a major phobia of tornadoes, and I suppose I still do. They're just super scary to me. So this is just kind of a, you know, just some mashups from things from my childhood. Like, I used to love, I still do, obviously, butterflies and moths. And this one is just other things from childhood, bubbles and these... These are those ribbons with that are on a stick that you wave around. Here is a drawing of Mr. Dog when he had his leg surgery. So he has a big cast on there and Lori, they were sitting outside on the porch. Here's Lori in the mean lawnmower. This is part two to... Uh, Doubts they make the uh, they get the best of me. Called I made friends instead, and it's whenever you just go along with it. They're playing cards. Oh, here is this one. End up becoming a painting too. It's called Blighted. Here's another painting. Well, there's a lot of painting ideas. Um called I just haven't been myself lately could someone please tell me how to relax yeah I have a problem doing that I'm getting better at it though a lot better at it here's some more planning for the don't wake Aislinn's, uh 
album cover. So you wanted a girl climbing, climbing a little ladder into the, up to the daisy. This is a weird thing that I never did anything with. Double-headed tree. Um, I think I was at Seneca Hills Labor Day weekend camp and I drew this tree that they had. Thinking about Christmas. Christmas card. I think Dustin actually drew this. This one also became a painting. Um, just balloons and little hummingbirds with sharp beaks getting ready to pop the balloons. Canned apples for the first time all by myself. I remember that. <laughs> just a cute little apple jar. Mr. Panda Bear. This is more from the Don't Like Wake Azelin record. This was like, they were trying to combine two parts of the story. Like this was a win cold winter scene and this is whenever stuff is starting to grow back. I'll have to put these pictures in here. Some more doodles. I think I was at work at the church the one day. Oh, Jan's owl collection. She had a, the other person that worked at the office had a nice little collection of owls around the desk. So it wasn't a very eventful day. So I did a little few sketches. Here's another tree. I think this is getting into, oh yeah. One year I tried to draw a tree a day for the entire year. I didn't make it the whole year, but we're getting into that part. So here's a tree, here's a tree, another tree. This, I think I, this was for my blog that I don't have anymore, but it was for the banner at the top. So we're for buttons, designing buttons. Here's another tree with an octopus, the monocle, of course. Some weird flower trees. I have no idea, another tree, kind of looks like a belly button. Another tree, probably, I think I remembered I drew this one from a tree in person. Just doodling around, more trees. Probably, oh, this one became a painting called Tangled. I love this one. And another tree that became a painting, the Tree of Extra Life. that has some little Mario stuff in it. Another tree. Yeah, I think we're going to have trees for the rest of this sketchbook. Yep. And we're almost in the end. That's it. I hope you found this madly interesting. Uh, thanks for watching. And of course, be sure to check out my other sketchbook flip throughs and check out my art on Instagram. I'll have the links to that below. And also, if you want to support me on Patreon, I have some really fun tiers with great rewards sticker of the month tier that also includes uh painting tutorials and paint alongs thanks guys see you later